My dearest Highlands, Zora, Gorong, and Gerudos, whoever you are, we have been dealt a poopy hand. I just now realized what that weird craving was when I was replaying Breath of the Wild. The Zelda series is probably one of the most memorable series I've played during my childhood and adulthood. And adulthood, oh my goodness. There are many different reasons for this, some being the music, the quests, the characters, and the items. In this video, we will be going over the items I found most memorable that Breath of the Wild didn't have, but hope that Breath of the Wild 2 does. As always, thank you for your support on this channel. If you haven't already, you want to help this channel grow, all you have to do is click that subscribe button and also share some comments and likes and whatnot. But now, let's get into this. First up is one of the biggest things I missed while playing Breath of the Wild. It's an item so iconic that just seeing it would remind you of being a kid playing your Nintendo 64 or at least it does for me. It's the Ocarina of Time, of course, my fellow Highlands. Now I know it would be hard to incorporate the Ocarina of Time per se, but let's just say an instrument in general should be in the new Breath of the Wild 2, I believe. Almost every Zelda game has had some sort of instrument to play snippets of our favorite Zelda melodies and songs. In Majora's Mask, we had multiple instruments, such as the Goron drums, the Tiku pipes, the Zora guitar, and of course the traditional ocarina. In the Wind Waker, it was, well, the Wind Waker? <laughs> and in Ocarina of Time, it was the ocarina. So why is it that Breath of the Wild doesn't have an instrument? I think it's so iconic that there shouldn't really be a reason to not include it in the new Breath of the Wild 2. Now of course some melodies probably wouldn't work in Breath of the Wild such as like the Song of so uh, Storms and the Song of Healing, but there are so many that could probably work in the gameplay style such as the Pona Song, Song of Double Time, and Song of Soaring. And when I say Song of Soaring, I mean that instead of just using the Chica, Chica Slate to fast travel, it would be more fun to play the melody instead and then that like bring your Chica Slate to fast travel you. So there you have it, that's item number one that I think should be in Breath of the Wild 2. Next item up are masks. Getting masks were one of the biggest side quests in Ocarina of Time. For Majora's Mask, it was literally the, in, the whole concept of the game. I just love that some masks were used in both games in general. It was always so exciting to adventure on a new side quest to figure out where each mask went. I never liked going to, into the Happy Mask shop in Happy Town though. The Happy Mask salesman kind of scared me with his dead eyes and scary smile. <laughs> now I know there was DLC for Breath of the Wild that incorporated certain masks, but for me that just wasn't enough. I want to see more masks with additional side quests for each one. I know that they wouldn't really be able to incorporate the magic behind the masks though, like in Majora's Mask. But just being able to have side quests that make you search for them and bring them to the Happy Mask Salesman would be something I hope to see. And that is the reason why number two on this list is masks. But now on to number three. Third on my list of things I hope to see in Breath of the Wild 2 is one that most have probably forgotten. But with the new Skyward Sword release coming up, I think it is very uh, relevant in today. Number three is going to be the beetle from Skyward Sword. The beetle was used to find secret rooms up high in dungeons and also a means to scout ahead for dangers. So why do I think this item should be included in Breath of the Wild 2, you may ask? I think it's safe to assume that Nintendo developers have listened to some of our complaints with the shrines in the game. Some of those seemed way too easy. And there wasn't really any challenging aspect to them. Now, I think the new shrines and dungeons, or both, in Breath of the Wild 2 will be somewhat more complex. So I think they could really utilize the beetle. Make, maybe putting a switch in a small crack in a high wall, or something in the lines of like having to search for an enemy that's in the roof or something. I don't know really because the uses for this item and shrines could be endless. I think it would really add some complexity to the shrines and also bring back a fan favorite item. All right, so we have gone through three items so far, so I hope you guys are agreeing with me. If not, put your top five things in the comment section down below. But anyways, Let's continue with the next item, the hookshot. Now again, the hookshot is something that is so iconic and has been in multiple Zelda games that it feels sort of wrong not to have it in Breath of the Wild. The hookshot was used for a variety of things such as grappling to far off ledges, grabbing items that were out of reach, or even freezing enemies in their tracks so you could deal loads of damage. There were so many times I wish I had the hookshot while playing Breath of the Wild though. 
I think it could be used a lot in shrines if they add some more complexity to them. Same thing with the beetle. Also, I think it would be a great addition to fighting into the fighting mechanics of the game as well. All in all, I think Zelda isn't the same without the awesome hookshot and its variant the long shot or grappling shot. Last thing that I wish was in Breath of the Wild 2 isn't really a specific item, but more specific type of item, I guess? That's going to be the special tunics and boots that Link wore. Now, I know this is kind of a long shot to persuade you guys, but hear me out. There are so many different outfits that you can wear and upgrade in the game, but why is it that only in the DLC were we affording only a few of the traditional outfits. Now, I'm grateful they decided to gift us with that D DLC, but something was missing for me. By the time the DLC came out, I was already done with the game for the most part. I'm more looking for practical use of the items, such as to the water tunic or hover boots. I know there is the Zora armor, but what if you want to go underwater? You just simply can't. That's something I do miss from the older Zelda games. Not to mention, but with the water tunic, you could also, when you go underwater, that just opens up the map itself for more underwater exploration, which in turn makes the map completely bigger. In recent interviews with Nintendo developers, they say that they're going to be pretty much reskinning Hyrule map itself and kind of using the same areas, which doesn't seem that interesting for all the different gamers because we've already transversed it every hour of the hour. So that's why I think instead of making an entire new map, just add an underwater section or items to let the player go underwater itself, and that kind of solves the problem, and it also brings back some of the older Zelda concepts that we do love and miss. That just about wraps up my list of the five things I hope to see in Breath of the Wild 2. I may just be sentimental and don't want things to change, but I just want some of the old Zelda items back. I think Zelda has a great way of tying all games together and seeing previously used items in newer games. I'm super excited to see if some of my dreams do come true. If you agree with my list, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. I hope you like this video. If you want to help support this channel, all you need to do is subscribe and like this video. As always, until the next adventure, stay safe and stay hungry for more. See ya Hylians.